we now have a new Pixel Book and it's called the Pixel Book Go. We have some specs on the side. 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs RAM, 128 GB SSD. Of course, it's running Chrome OS and it has a full HD display. We have the stylish individual. They're handling the Pixel Book Go. One day, Will, you and I will be just as stylish. We got to work on it. I don't know yeah. what we, I don't even know where we buy this outfit. Yeah, we should start on that. Though. But I mean, that looks comfy. It looks cozy. This one looks like black that we have here. I'm guessing if, uh, if the box is any indication, we shall find out. Yes, of course it's black. Limited branding in the corner there with the Google logo right there. Whoa, okay, this is, this is quite thin. It's very rounded and it has a textured back to it, like a washboard style. One thing I'll say about it, Will, it's giving me some confidence gripping it. Are they telling me to go places to just, they're telling me to do that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm an on the go type. Meeting to meeting. Uh, I'm on the go. It's the Pixel Book Go. Yes. This is obviously thin and light, targeted at the thin and light segment, but a major departure from the previous version Pixel Book. Well, a couple of rubber feet on the bottom, look around the outside of the device, type C connector over here, as well as an LED indicator for charge. Other side of the device, another, type C connector with another LED indicator and a headphone jack. Very simple as far as IO is concerned. And then as you can see, it's a one-handed. This is the thing, Will, when you're looking at laptops, is it a one-handed? It's become a, a huge topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, very simple design. We have two speaker grills, which are kind of where they should be, I guess. I've got the screen on full brightness now. It's a full HD display. No, no crazy exotic resolutions. You have a forehead, you have a chin. I mean, what have we learned at this point about Google and their hardware? They don't mind a forehead and a chin. No. They don't mind a bezel. This whole thing feels very traditional. It's not doing any fancy activities. It's not folding over backwards. Right. It's not unclipping from the thing. I'm having some kind of MacBook vibe here, in fact, with the aluminum deck, even the low travel keyboard, which you might even like. Yes. Because you're a, you're a clickety clacker. Yes. It's kind of like it, in fact. The quick brown. It's all right, maybe. So if you're trying to get an idea of what this keyboard is like, think current generation Apple keyboards. That's sort of the closest I can, but, but a little more travel than that, obviously, compared to the butterfly and a much quieter. Right, yours mm -hmm. are clicking like crazy. And of course you have some dedicated keys as you would on a Chromebook, such as your assistant key over here on the left-hand side. Okay, curious here, speakers. They obviously, there was some attention here to have them on the top of the deck. And so I'll do what I normally do. Is what Huawei's working on next. Mm -hmm. Because they started to tease what might be the P40, but might just be some completely different model not even in that series the i know what they're doing well what i mean they're just going for it <laughs> they're going for it i was using those think pads in in like a couple generations i noticed more attention on the audio mm. in the last couple generations from tin can mm. to something more just more attention now the audience is a bit more discerning and i think this product and the design decisions here are a reflection of that. Comes to audio, Will, I have yet to experience any kind of reflected version that is able to recreate the clarity you get from just having the unit firing at you. Even though some might argue that the appearance suffers a little bit from having those grills there, it's just a little less clean, you understand the motivation when you hear it. Right. Uh, picking it up, very light, very portable. Not only did I not expect this product from Google at this event, but I also wouldn't have expected it to be like this, a solid, typical, traditional laptop. Maybe Google is saying, look, we're not doing tablets anymore. We think for now, the phone laptop combo is how humans are living. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed something cool here. Battery life is gonna be a key consideration. The battery is at 66% and it has six and a half hours left of battery life. So that you would presume that battery life would be another key focus for a device like this. All right, let's do a little bit more typing. Over the lady dog, the quick brown fox jumped over the... I could get used to it. 
it's very different from what I'm currently using. It's, it's, it's a very different implementation, but I could get used to it. And I do appreciate the quietness of it. Now, as far as having this much horsepower in a thin and light device, I mean, you have a Core i5 chip that happens to also be running Chrome OS. It's a lightweight OS. That's a ton of horsepower for something like that. You're still gonna have this decision to make about whether or not you're ready fully to migrate to a completely Chrome lifestyle. I'm kind of impressed by it. I, I, you know, I use a traditional laptop. Well, I talk about it all the time. I use a smartphone and a laptop and I spend, I, my tablet time is pretty infrequent. Very thin and light, presumably great battery life, uh, a really solid build to go with it. A MacBook-esque keyboard, just a slab. That's what makes the Pixel Book go. It's a laptop that's not trying to not be a laptop.